Our abstract title is Point of Care Hip Ultrasound Leads to Expedited Results Amongst Emergency Department Patients with Suspected Septic Arthritis of the Hip. And this is out of the University of Virginia Health System in Charlottesville. Starting with the background, the evaluation of septic hip arthritis often involves the usage of hip sonography or hip ultrasound in order to determine the presence of a hip joint effusion. If a hip joint effusion is identified, then dependent on the case and dependent on the suspicion, a hip arthrocentesis may then be performed, which often uses ultrasound as a guidance tool. Previous work has demonstrated that point of care or bedside hip ultrasound is accurate when performed by the emergency physician. Prior research has also shown that emergency physicians are able to safely and effectively perform ultrasound-guided hip arthrocentesis procedures. We also know from prior research that the time to diagnosis and subsequent intervention in cases of septic arthritis is important in assuring favorable patient outcomes. In the current study, we sought to investigate the difference in the time to obtain hip sonography results and the time to arthrocentesis between radiology and emergency physician performed studies in cases where the emergency physician suspected septic hip joint arthritis. Two representative images are present on this slide. The image on the left is a pediatric patient with a hip joint effusion. Note the anechoic area consistent with fluid just anterior to the femoral neck. Hip joint effusions generally accumulate just anterior to the concave femoral neck area. Common diagnostic criteria utilized to determine presence of effusion is when the fluid is 5 millimeters in thickness or greater when measured from the femoral neck to the anterior most portion of the effusion. Note that smaller effusions may be present, particularly early on in the disease process. The picture on the right demonstrates an adult patient with a hip joint effusion undergoing an ultrasound-guided arthrocentesis. This procedure is generally performed in the long axis, and one can see the shaft of the needle and the soft tissue anterior to the effusion with the needle tip just outside and indenting on the joint capsule itself. The study was a retrospective single center study at a large tertiary care center academic emergency department and it involved all emergency department patients who had a point of care or radiology hip ultrasound performed as part of their ED evaluation in a three-year time period. Charts were then reviewed in order to identify patients in whom septic arthritis was considered in the differential diagnosis by the treating physician, and patients were then included in the study if they had received a hip ultrasound in the setting of a suspicion for septic arthritis. Two separate physician investigators abstracted data from the electronic medical record to ensure accuracy of data acquisition. If there were any discrepancy between these two investigators, they were resolved through reanalysis of the individual case and consensus. The time between first ED physician patient contact and the ultrasound result was recorded. On cases that involved a subsequent hip arthrocentesis, the time to that procedure was also recorded. The overall disposition time from ED arrival to admission or to ED discharge was also recorded and noted. And then finally, each case of emergency physician performed hip arthrocentesis was assessed for any evidence of arthrocentesis related complications. A total of 46 patient encounters were identified that met these inclusion criteria. Out of these 46, 22 patients had received a point of care hip ultrasound, while 24 had received a radiology hip ultrasound. The average time from first ED physician patient contact to point of care ultrasound completion was 101 minutes with the 95% confidence interval as shown. And this was as opposed to 256 minutes with the 95% confidence interval shown in the radiology hip ultrasound group. These results are demonstrated in this bar graph where the 95% confidence interval are represented by the error bars. Out of these 46 patients, 18 of them went on to have a hip arthrocentesis performed, 10 of which were emergency physician performed, and 8 of which were radiology performed. The average time from first ED physician contact to ED performed arthrocentesis procedure was 233 minutes with the 95% confidence interval shown. Uh, and it was 909 minutes uh, with the 95% confidence interval shown in the radiology arthrocentesis group. 
We did also look at overall time to disposition, and this was shorter in the point of care ultrasound group as compared to the radiology hip ultrasound group. However, this did not reach statistical significance. Out of the 10 emergency physician performed hip arthrocentesis, there were no procedural complications that occurred upon chart review of each case. The average time to arthrocentesis for the two groups is shown in this bar chart. The error bars represent the 95% confidence interval for each cohort. In summation, septic arthritis is an important diagnosis to make in a timely manner for the emergency physician. Uh, as prior studies have shown that poor outcomes are associated with increased time to intervention and delayed diagnosis. Point of care hip ultrasound and bedside orthocentesis provide the emergency physician with a potential tool to expedite the evaluation of these patients. And in the current study, we did demonstrate decreased time to ultrasound result and to arthrocentesis procedure when performed by the emergency physician. Importantly, our study does have a number of limitations, including its retrospective nature and the likelihood of confounding variables. The radiology ultrasound and arthrocentesis patients may have been more complex or have varied presentations as compared to the patients in the emergency physician ultrasound and arthrocentesis group. Indeed, the confidence interval in the radiology arthrocentesis arm is very wide, uh, which is likely secondary to two outlier arthrocentesis procedures that were not performed until after admission to the hospital. However, if these two were removed, there was still a statistically significant increased time to arthrocentesis in the radiology group as compared to the emergency physician performed arthrocentesis group. Additionally, certain characteristics of those emergency physicians who readily use point of care ultrasound may also be contributory and confounding to the decreased time to ultrasound result. Overall, we hope to highlight the potential time-saving nature of point-of-care hip ultrasound and arthrocentesis, though we do acknowledge that further study is needed given our limited sample size, single center nature of the study, uh, as well as the retrospective format. Thank you.